Hello folks, this is a flipped video to help get you prepared for organizing your lab drawer tomorrow. The goal of this video is to introduce you to the appropriate lab equipment that we'll be using this year and that you'll be collecting to put into your drawer. So I will show you what the lab equipment looks like and tell you what the name is. The first thing that we'll be looking at is a beaker. So a beaker is just a cylinder uh, that is designed to hold liquid. It does have gradations along the side here um, that do help us measure. This is not the most precise measuring device, so it's more to hold um, typically a liquid while we are using it in an experiment. This is the largest beaker that we'll generally be using. This is a 600 milliliter beaker. And this is a 50 milliliter beaker. So there's quite um, a, a diverse size range that you'll be using for beakers. Next, we'll talk about an Erlenmeyer flask. Uh, these also vary in size. They're similar to a beaker, but you'll notice that the shape is different. They kind of take a triangle shape up to the point where the mouth is. This is a graduated cylinder. Um, this is what we'll frequently be using to measure with. Uh, so whenever we're measuring, measuring out liquids. Uh, this is a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. Uh, you will have these as well as 10 milliliter graduated cylinders in your drawer. This is an example of a test tube. Uh, you will have probably 10 of these in your drawer as well as one of these two things. These are two different types of test tube holders. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you have, they both work. Whichever one you prefer or we have left is what you can take. This is a pipe stem triangle. Uh, when we are heating something that is porcelain, we'll typically use this to hold whatever device we're using. Oftentimes, that will be a crucible. Uh, you can see that it fits very snugly right here, and this holds it so that we could apply heat to the bottom of this. So this is a pipe stem triangle. This is a crucible, and this is a crucible lid. The lid does not have to fit super tightly and snugly. It seems like it's very large, um, and that's okay. It simply needs to cover the top. This is a watch glass. It looks kind of like a giant contact lens. This is an evaporating dish. It looks similar to a crucible, but it's larger. It does not have a cover that fits. This is a test tube holder. Uh, we can use it to hold the aforementioned test tube. Uh, so when it's hot, when we're heating it, we don't want to touch it with our hands, we'll use the test tube holder. And there are a variety of uh, little devices that we'll use for holding uh, different objects or for different things, and it's important that we keep them straight because you're not going to be able to pick up a beaker with a test tube holder, and we don't want it to break. Uh, so uh, that's something that we need to be cognizant of and ask questions if you have them. This is a tongs. We can use this to pick up hot items. I call these a tweezers. Um, this is used for any variety of things, um, but these are a little smaller, a little more precise tool. This is a glass plate. It's exactly what it sounds like. It is just a square of glass that we can use to capture materials on. This might be a little hard to see. It's just a long solid glass, um, basically rod. It's called a glass rod or a stirring rod. You'll use this because we don't ever stir with thermometers, um, so we use these. They're just more sturdy, much less likely to break. Scoopula 
and spatula are the next two things on the list. Uh, you'll find that they kind of do the same thing, but you might prefer one over the other in certain situations. So that's something that you will leave to preference. We're getting close to the end here. This is a test tube brush. You use this to clean test tubes once they're dirty. Um, it has a little bit of flexibility in the brush, brush so that you can actually get it into the test tube to clean it. This is wire gauze. Um, you'll notice that it does have some white material in the middle, and that's very important. Um, we set these over a ring clamp when we're heating something with a Bunsen burner because it helps distribute the heat evenly. Finally, we have a filtering funnel. And I will show you how to appropriately use these, but you will have a glass and a plastic filtering funnel. Okay, you are responsible for knowing what each of those items are for tomorrow's class when we prepare your lab drawers. Thanks.